and peeps and fitness friends, it's Rayanne here at Get Empowered Fitness Studio with your Fitness Friday. So for our summer home fun with the exercises that you can do at home that are weight bearing, we have three new exercises for you this week. So we're going to do upper, lower, upper body, lower body and core just like we've done the last few weeks. And um, so we're going to get started with upper body first. So I'm going to have you start in a plank position, hands underneath the shoulders, Hips open, landing pads to the floor, squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs, lift your belly, lift your eyes. And you can either be on your knees here or up on your toes. It's your choice. Then you're going to exhale and lift into down dog, pressing through the heels, opening up the back of the body and the armpits, pushing down with the fingertips, feel the tension in the inner thighs, lifting the pelvic floor. Inhale back to plank. Exhale into down dog, keeping that core nice and strong, feeling that strength in the upper body. And once you've mastered this and you'd like to make it harder, we're just going to add a push-up. Again, you can go to your knees on that one, coming to here, and a push-up, squeezing those elbows to the rib cage. So we're doing a yoga push-up there, a tricep push-up, military push-up, whatever you want to call it. And that's your upper body exercise. So now we're going to move to the lower body exercise. You're going to start on your belly. Your forehead is going to rest on the back of your hands with your shoulders down. And then we're going to open the knees just a little bit so your big toes come together, but making sure your pelvis is on the floor. We don't want those hips to lift up. So think about driving the pelvis down. The belly is going to draw up, though, to protect the lower back. And then we're going to take those big toes and lift them up to the ceiling by squeezing through the glutes and lowering. So I'm going to do a couple with your head in the right position. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. If you'd like to make it a little more challenging, you're going to extend the legs long and then bend and lift and lower to the ceiling. And extend and bend and lift and lower. Good. And the slower you move, the harder it is. So have fun with that one. The last one is going to be for core. We're going to lay on our backs, crossing one leg over the other, hand behind the head, let the head rest into your hands, relaxing the buns as much as you can because they're tired from the last exercise. And you're just gonna give me a crunch, sliding the rib cage down into the pelvis, focus in on lengthening through the body here, that contraction, and letting the head rest. The head is resting in the hands so there's no pulling on the head. Just exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, and then we're gonna add rotation. One direction, bring it back to neutral, and lift up and rotate the other direction, keeping those hips nice and still. You're really gonna feel this in the obliques, those side waist muscles, and rotate, and release, and lift and lower. Good, and then of course you're gonna switch ankles with the other ankle on top. So my recommendation is to do the first exercise, your plank down dog, 10 to 15 times. Do the um, diamond glute lift, 10 to 15 times. Then do your crunch with rotation with one leg crossed. 10 to 15 times, then go back to the beginning, do the plank down dog, the glute lift in the diamond shape, and then cross the other ankle over for your uh, crunch with rotation. So have fun with these. I hope you enjoy them. Um, please put comments in the comments section so we know what you'd like moving forward. We hope you're enjoying these exercises that you can do at home and let us know what you think. So we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.